Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Summer Jake. I am the fitness specialist here at Winterwalk Wellness Center for the Navajo Special Diabetes Program. And today I want to talk about core stability and core strength. So one of the misconceptions about your core is that your abs or your six pack are the only muscles that contain your core. However, it's not the only one. We also have the external obliques, internal obliques, the transverse abdominis, the quadratus lumborum, the maltivitus, and the erector spinae. So what these muscles do, they help us flex and extend. We're going to also do lateral flexion as well as rotation, drawing our stomach in, and also just stabilizing our spine overall. So say someone has a weak core, they're going to experience lower back pain and bad posture due to the overcompensating of their body, just due, due to the imbalance of your muscles. Also, you're going to feel um, the poor balance as well as overall weakness, shortness of breath, and even low endurance. So what are some of the things that can help us stabilize our core? So one of the great things about this is that you don't necessarily need a gym in order to do this exercise. You can do it every day. You can do it at home, at work. You can also do it during your chores. So what is this exercise? It is called the draw-in maneuver. So what is the drawing maneuver? Well, the drawing maneuver is basically bracing your core, contracting your stomach away from your shirt. You can also think of it as pulling your belly button into your spine. So how, we're, how are we gonna do that? Well, if you are walking around or sitting and you're just kind of slouched, your belly out and you feel tension in your lower back and your, your stomach's just kind of relaxed, um, that's going to cause a lot of strain and pressure on your lower back just because of the compensating compensation of your stomachs not being active. So how we're going to do that is we're going to bring our belly button into our spine to the point where we can feel contraction. But I really don't want you guys to hold your breath in during this time because you should still be able to breathe normally. So just a small contraction brace in your core. So once you have that, but you feel like your, your butt is pointed too back and you feel more strain in your lower back, all we're going to do is bring your tailbone down, aligning it with your spine. And if you want to take it a little bit step forward, we're going to correct our posture. How we're going to do that, which is the best way I do it myself, is bringing our shoulders up, back and down. Feeling your shoulder blades, mu shoulder blade muscles coming together. That way, it's not just your lower back trying to keep your body up, but it's also your whole core muscles. So in the next video, we're gonna do just the beginner stages of working out in our core. So why don't you get ready and let's go. So here's a workout recommendation that you can do at home. We're gonna start by getting onto the floor, making sure our back is firmly onto the ground. We're not overarching our back where we can put our hands through. We're gonna draw our belly button in, bringing our hands above, alternating your right and left, bringing them together. Control your movements, making sure you're your core is doing the work. You don't want to be just swinging your arms any whole how because that you don't get the most out of your workout. Again, you want to control your workout. You can start doing these exercise three sets of eight. The next exercise, we're going to do slow bicycle crunches. Again, I'm going to emphasize on slow so your core can do the work and you're not just swinging your arms and legs. Again, control motions. You can do this for three sets of eight again. Remembering to breathe in and out. Try not to hold your breath in. The next exercise, we are going to slowly get onto all fours. We're going to ensure that our hands are below our shoulders and our knees are below our hips. And we are going to be doing a bird dog exercise, 
bringing our arms and legs out, alternating each side. And again, you are gonna contract our core muscles, bringing our belly button into our spine. Remember to not go fast, you wanna go slow. And again, you're gonna do this for about maybe three sets of eight. The next exercise we're going to be doing supermans so we're going to come down to the floor take your time and we are going to be lifting our arms and legs again contracting our core bringing our belly button into our spine and we're going to go slow three sets of eight if this is too difficult you can just do your upper body bringing your arms up and that will conclude this workout. Again, this is only a recommendation if you want to try it at home. Thank you for watching our video. Please remember to be safe out there, be active, be healthy, and prevent diabetes.